Let's take you outside. A live look in Wildwood right now. Jason, you are part of the problem. That's hilarious. The beach, it's pretty quiet out there, but in just six weeks, Memorial Day weekend, that will not be the mm. case. And in North Wildwood, a new rule will be in effect. No cabanas allowed. You mm. want shade? Well, Dan just gave you some shade, but, the re you know, the real shade out there, yeah. the physical shade, you're going to be limited to an umbrella. Right, just a little, you can't have the big easy up, I guess. But not everybody's on board with this new beach policy. Here's Greg Payne. Every day, the beachgoers at North Wildwood are slowly but surely seeing their beloved beach disappear because of beach erosion. It's sad. It's sad because we brought our kids here to this beach and probably can't this year. Jerry Comber and her husband have been coming to the North Wildwood Beach for years. They're disappointed but understand the city's decision to ban large tents and cabanas and limit beachgoers to one eight-foot round umbrella because of the shrinking beach. I think they do because it's the beach is limited now and people wouldn't be able to see the water and that's why you come. Even though Tracy Roney spends most of her time in the water surfing, she agrees with the city's decision. And there's two sides to it. If you just bought an expensive cabana last year, you're going to be mad. <laughs> um, and if you have to protect your family and that's all you have. But I think going back to a traditional umbrella just conserves the space and allows us to just share the beach a little bit better. Which those two sides are being represented with the Virtio family. If you think about it, the cabanas aren't much different than an umbrella anyway, if you measured the square footage of them. So, I mean, I don't see what the difference is. If there's no beach, it's better to have everybody on the beach and nobody be able to go on the beach because five people are taking up the whole room. For North Wildwood Mayor Patrick Rosanello, the change is upsetting for him, but one he believes is necessary as they continue to work with the NJDEP to try and get the beach replenished. Up and down the shore, uh, the state, the NJDEP does these renourishment projects on a regular basis. For a variety of reasons, we have not had one again in 11 years. So that's probably the most frustrating thing that this is preventable. Um, it simply just takes a little bit of hard work from the state to get this done. A major beach renourishment nourishment project for North Wildwood is slated for the summer of 2025, which the mayor is hoping the current restriction will only be temporary. Reporting in North Wildwood, I'm Greg Payne, Fox 29 News.